more bombshells from the special counsel's Russia investigation, which means it's time for another installment of Mo Mala, Mo Problems. <laughs> Based on recent events, it feels like the Mueller investigation is finally starting to wrap up. Then again, it seems like the Mueller investigation is always wrapping up. <laughs> sort of like a phone call with your mom. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay, okay, bye, bye, mom. I love, what? what? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I won't forget. Okay, yes, yes, I'll, I'll pray for them. All right, bye, bye, mom. Okay, I love, no, mom, I told you I don't watch Dr. Phil. No, mom. <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah, we're, oh, we're breaking up. We're, no, 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 I'm not breaking up with her, Mom. I'm just saying the phone. No, no, yes, we are good, Mom. No, no, we're not having kids, Mom. I told you. Okay, okay, bye, bye, Mom. Every call. Anyway, people think the investigation might soon end because Mueller and federal prosecutors in New York have started recommending punishments for some of the people involved. People like Michael Flynn, the former national security advisor, and Michael Cohen, former Trump lawyer, and Shady Kramer. <laughs> So until now, the only people incriminated have been Trump's henchmen. But then on Friday, shit got real. For the first time, a separate filing by the Southern District of New York directly implicates Mr. Trump in felonies involving hush money payments coordinated by his former attorney, Michael Cohen, to Karen McDougal and Stormy Daniels for alleged affairs. Prosecutors allege that he was trying to secretly manipulate the election by buying the silence of alleged mistresses ahead of the campaign. That's right, the president has been implicated in multiple felonies. Let that sink in. A little more. <laughs> a little more, okay, too much, too much. Take it back a little. Yeah, just there, that's perfect. And just to be clear, this isn't even the collusion with Russia thing, right? Or the obstruction of justice thing. We haven't even gotten to those yet. These felonies are about Trump paying hush money to his mistresses. And if you think about it, it's weird how much politics and porn are overlapping right now. <laughs> Right, because in the future, kids will be doing their American history homework on Pornhub. That's what it means, right? <laughs> be like, don't come in, Mom, I'm learning about the president! <laughs> and what's hilarious is how the prosecutors tried to give Trump cover by referring to him in these documents as individual one. But it's obvious who it is, because they also say individual one became president of the United States. <laughs> I mean, how much clearer can you get? It's like individual one who tweets every day at 3 a.m. <laughs> or individual one who is totally embarrassed by his idiot son, individual one junior. <laughs> but it's, it's pretty clear by now, Trump is in some deep shit. And he has to know it's getting serious because people on TV are saying so. Trump implicated. Will House Democrats push to impeach the president? The president uh, has now stepped into the same territory that ultimately led to President Nixon resigning the office. Certainly they'd be impeachable offenses because even though they were committed before the president became president, uh, they were committed in, 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 in the service of fraudulently obtaining the office. There's a very real prospect that uh, on the day Donald Trump leaves office, the Justice Department uh, may indict him, uh, that he may be the first president uh, in quite some time to face the real prospect of jail time. He's got to know his future looks like it's behind bars unless he cuts some sort of deal with the prosecutors. That's right. Things are so serious. People are talking about President Trump going to prison. And I know, I know many people might want to see Trump in prison, but not me, okay? I do not want to see Trump go to prison. Mostly because if you put Trump in a prison jumpsuit, it'll just look like he's naked. <laughs> and why should we be punished for his crimes? <laughs> but even though, even though many legal experts are saying this could land Trump in prison, there's one person who watches a lot of Law & Order who totally disagrees. The president has an interesting take on the damning documents. On Twitter, he writes, quote, totally clears the president. Thank you, exclamation point. Oh, man. You've got to give it to President Trump. No matter what happens to him, he's always positive. He'll never admit defeat. <laughs> like, he's going to be in handcuffs in the back of the cop car, and he'll be like, driver, thank you for the lovely silver bracelets. Now take me to the nearest McDonald's, please. It's time for victory nuggets. <laughs> 